What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the Chud Shop. It's been a while since we've been out here, but uh, have no fear, there's been a lot going on in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, at the makings of a 65 firebox, right? Yeah. I'm gonna build a giant Chud table with this guy in a little bit. Got this nice, almost done, full-size Chud box. This one's about halfway done. This is my garage mini Chud box, if I ever wanna cook when I'm out here welding. And we got this guy. This guy is pretty much done. Just need to throw the grates in there. This one is for Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. This one. This needs the side handles and the grates. That one's going to Brett at Brett's Backyard Barbecue. Then over here, I've got the makings of the next five Chud Pit 65 offset smokers. Just waiting on more steel to make the firebox for these. So yeah, definitely keeping myself busy these days. But today, we are building something new and exciting. Because Hot Luck is coming up in just a few days. That's Aaron Franklin's Barbecue Festival here in Austin. And Leroy and Lewis is cooking at the El Fuego event. And there's going to be a lot of cool cookers at that event. So you know, when you have a resident pit builder on staff, it's kind of necessary to build something new and exciting. So, we're cooking up some picanha tacos for the event. So today, I'm gonna build a taco table. Coming up! Beautiful. So we got this frame built, not much to it, pretty standard stuff. And on top here, we've got the basin. This is where the charcoal is gonna sit below our griddle and grill. This is made out of some 3 16th inch pickled steel that I had bent. As you can see, it was bent up on this side and bent up on this side. And you got a few nice welds right here, keeping this whole thing together, looking nice and clean. So now all I need to do is tack it onto this frame, flip this frame upside down so I can put some support beams going underneath and then we can have the griddle. And there it is. This is our griddle slash grill slash griddle. Lovely logo cut out of there. Oh, so clean. This is another piece of bent steel, pickled as well. That way I don't have to grind off all the mill scale. Beautiful, nice, clean bends all the way around. God, I love that. Got this done at a local fabrication shop where they have a water jet, where they can cut out perfect letters and grill grates. So I'm gonna add some reinforcement to the bottom of this thing, right here and and then we'll attach it. Not entirely sure if these under supports are really necessary, but you know, I always like to play it safe when we're doing a lot of heat under a large sheet like this. So we'll see, hopefully it doesn't warp. And hopefully these grates don't warp. But again, I've never done this before. This is the old prototype. So uh, we'll see how it comes out. thing is looking nice nice and shiny i think we're pretty much done but no new build is complete without a shiny new chimney
All right, y'all, that is it. I think this thing is done. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory how this thing functions. But basically, we got a nice grill in the middle. Get your meats on there. And we got a flat top on either side equipped with a tortilla press. Great for making tortillas, perfect for smash burgers. It's a panini press, it's a tortilla press, it's a bacon press, comes in quite useful. And we've got the brand new Chud Chimney looking nice and clean, made out of pickled steel this time around with a slightly new logo. And yeah, they're available right now as this video drops. I got about a hundred of them on the website, so go grab them up while you can. Loving the logo right there, looking great. Fully housed in, keep your charcoal dry, keep your chimney and whatnot down there. And yeah, this thing is charcoal powered. So back here, We've got a little extra space to kind of maneuver your charcoal in and out, go from zone to zone or build up a big pile. And this thing is in fact not welded down. So I suppose you could lean it back. Let's see if it works. There you go. Add your charcoal in that way too. Nice and convenient. I did my best to reinforce it. I'm really hoping it works out without uh, warping anything. But, you know, this is the prototype, so we will find out. I'm probably gonna rock it like this, where I leave a little gap up front for any grease to kind of fall into there. But yeah, I think it's time to fire this thing up and see how she cooks. I don't usually use lighter fluid, but I just thought this would look really cool coming through the logo. And I think I was right. All right, this thing is all seasoned up. I basically just got it real hot and hit it with some canola spray oil. That's what's giving it this nice seasoning and this nice darkening of color. But I can't just waste a fire, so... Nothing like a smash burger, folks. I tell you what, I really got to improve the lighting out in this garage. <laughs> Not my best looking smash burger, but pff, you know it's going to taste good. Tell you what, though, I'm liking this griddle table already. And that nonstick coating worked out incredibly well. I should probably make a few videos on this thing. Let me know if you want to see me do an actual smash burger video, because I will gladly do just that. All right, y'all, that is it. That is my very first build of the Chud Taco Table. I'm not really set on that name. That's just what I called it while shooting this video. So if you have any better name suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. But that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see this thing in action and if you're watching this video in real time, be sure to come to Hot Luck this weekend where me and the folks at Leroy and Lewis are going to be cooking up some mean tacos on this thing. It's definitely going to be a good time. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button and dropping a like on this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more build videos like this. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace!